How to guess how many candies are in a jar? Want to win the prize? Knowing a little math is the key to winning this popular contest. You will need a jar filled with spherical or oblate spheroid candies, a calculator, and a tape measure. Optional, vernier calipers, and a computer with internet access. Step one, ask for or estimate the total volume of the jar as best you can. Convert the volume to milliliters. Convert to liters quickly by typing convert your original units into liters into a search engine. Step two, determine whether the candies are spheres. If they are balls like gumballs or jawbreakers, they're spheres. If the candies are round but longer than they are wide, they are oblate spheroids. Step three, find the volume of one candy also in milliliters. First, find the radius of one candy either by estimating, using a tape measure, or by using vernier calipers, which provide the most precise measurement. If your candy is spherical, use the formula V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, where r is the radius of one candy in centimeters. Round pi to 3.142 if you don't have a scientific calculator. If the candies are oblate spheroids, use the formula V equals 4 thirds pi a squared b, where a is the longer radius and b is the shorter radius. Step four, calculate the percentage of the total volume the candies take up in the jar. Calculate 64% of the jar's total volume if the candies are spheres and calculate 66.5% of its volume if they are oblate spheroids. Step five, for spherical candies, divide your estimate for the size of one candy into 64% of the volume of the jar. For oblate spheroid candies, divide the average size of one candy into 66.5% of the volume. You've got the answer. Now amaze your friends with your guess. Did you know? Bubblegum was invented by Walter Dimer in 1928.